Mr. Heffern here and here's a short tutorial on how to make a climate graph with the the uh, data given to you. So I'm going to do um, you have a cho you have to choose two different cities so it's like Toronto, uh, Las Vegas, Sydney, New York, Vancouver and Orlando. But uh, for the example I'm going to use uh, Barrie, Ontario. So I'm just go over to Barrie here. So the first thing you need to do is you'll see uh, you've got your uh, precipitation. So our months are uh, January to December, months uh, 1 to 12. And we have the same months listed below here for temperature as well. Okay. And um, at the top, we have the years. We've got 30 years worth of data. So we've got, um, oh, hold on a second here. There we go. we got 30 years worth of data. So from 1990 all the way over to... Uh, 2020. Okay. And uh, this isn't the exact data. This is uh, simulated data, which is close to the correct data, but for uh, for the uh, our purposes, it's be good enough. So what I'm going to do now is calculate an average. To do that, a uh, mean average. So I'm going to go equals um, average okay, bracket. And then I'm going to click on my uh, first value right there and E4. And then I'm just going to highlight across, either with a mouse or with shift and an arrow key, all the way over to uh, 2020. And then you can close the bracket, or if the computer is smart enough, it'll know what to do. Just press enter. Right? And you don't want to autofill. You can say yes or no. It doesn't matter. So there you go. Uh, the average um, amount of precipitation in January from 30 years is 50.4. So now to copy it down, you see this little blue square there? If you click on the blue square, your mouse cursor will change into a crosshair. You can click on that and just drag down and let go, and it'll uh, copy the formula down. Okay, if you ever make a mistake or you want to do something differently, uh, you go Control-Z, and it'll go back up. The other way you can do it is um, you can click on the cell and go Control-C, and then all you do is you highlight the cells you want to copy the formula into. And go control V okay. and the other way you can copy things is to click on the cell you're interested in go e uh, go to edit copy uh, highlight the cells you want to copy the formula to and though go edit uh, paste so there's three ways you can copy the formula down so then what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to copy that in for uh, those formulas down here so I can get my average temperature there we go Okay, so now um, what I'm going to do is uh, select my average precipitation. So I'm going to go Control C copy, or you can go uh, Edit copy, doesn't matter. And I'm going to come down to um, where I've got another chart ready for my averages. And I'm going to go Edit, Paste Special, Values Only, or you can go Control Shift V if you prefer. And that's just going to copy those values down. And then I'm going to do the same thing for my um, average temperatures. I'm going to go Control C, okay, or Edit Copy. And then I'm going to go here, and I'm going to go Control Shift V, or I'm going to go Paste Values Only. There we go. So now I've got the data I need to make um, a climate graph. Okay, so probably going to make a climate graph right around here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is highlight um, from month one over two spots all the way down like this. And then I'm going to go insert chart. All right, and you want a combo chart. So when you look through the list, if it doesn't give you a combo chart to start with, then you want to look around and find a combo chart. Now, um, this climate graph doesn't look that great yet. Uh, for one thing, the title could be better. So I'm going to click on the title, and then under Customize here, Chart Title, I'm going to see the title pop up right here. And so I'm going to type, um, this is uh, Barry, um, Barry Ontario dash climate. There we go. All right. Now, um, I can also see I only have one axis right now. It's measuring everything from minus 25 to 75. That's not good. So I'm going to click on, um, on Customize here. And I'm going to go down to, uh, to Vertical Axes. There we go. 
And I'm just going to look for, let's see, um, no, sorry, not vertical axis. I'm going to move to uh, move my picture out of the way here. I'm going to go up to um, where it is. There it is, series. Okay. And I'm going to choose just the, the, the line two, the line plot there. Uh, so line two. And I'm going to scroll down. And instead of the axis being the left axis, I'm going to change that to be the right axis. There we go. So now we have... Um, the left axis will be precipitation from 0 to 80 millimeters, and the right will be temperature negative 10 degrees all the way up to uh, 20 degrees. There we go. And so that looks a lot better. Good. Now I just got to find some titles for these. So I'm going to go up to uh, chart and axis titles right here. Uh, so we got the chart title. Now I'm going to change over to the to the so I can see the horizontal axis is correct. It's in months. That's good. Uh, I'm going to go to the vertical axis title. I'm going to change this to be uh, the precipitation uh, bracket millimeters. Okay, so I didn't like my spelling there, so I'll just fix the spelling. There we go. And then I'm going to click on the right vertical axis, and I'm going to change that to temperature. There we go. And then bracket uh, degrees Celsius close bracket. There we go. So now my uh, climate graph is, is good to go. Okay, so I'm just going to exit there. Okay, so here we go. I got um, my climate graph. I've got my average data. So what I want to do is to make this look good. So there's a template document right here. So in the template document, you'll have to make a copy of your own. You just go File, uh, Make a Copy, and put that in your Google Drive somewhere. And then from there, uh, I'm going to add a few things. I'm going to add the climate graph for one thing. So I'm just going to go back to um, where my climate graph is. I'm going to select it, right click, and okay, I'm going to maybe not right click. I'm going to go edit, uh, copy, and then I'm going to go back to my document in the second row of this table here. I'm just going to paste it in. So it says, do I want to link it to the spreadsheet or just paste unlinked? Paste unlinked is better. That way, um, if you send me a copy, uh, it won't matter if I have access to your Google Drive. There we go. So there's the climate data. Okay, so now um, I'm going to copy the table over as well. So I'm just going to go to the uh, spreadsheet. I'm going to select the table of information right there. Control C or edit copy. And then I'm going to go back to uh, the document. And then I'm going to go uh, Control V for paste. Paste unlinked once again. There we go. And then what I'd like to do is maybe get rid of the numbers for the months. So I'm just going to month. There we go. And then I'm going to highlight this column right here, right click and delete column. So it's gone. There we go. Now the other thing I might want to do is um, make the degrees up. So I'm just going to highlight the zero or the O for the degrees there. And then on uh, in Google Docs, if you go control period, it uppercases it like that. There we go. Okay. And now I might actually add a bit more um, like the word precipitation. Okay. And I'm just going to make the table a little bigger. There we go. So I got room for my titles. There we go. And so that's going to be millimeters in brackets for the. Uh, there we go. I didn't like my spelling again, so I'll just uh, fix that. There we go. And then for temperature, um, I just got to go in. So it's already uppercased or super uh, scripted right now. I go control minus, so it'll come back down to normal. And I'm going to go uh, temperature. There we go. Uh, and then I'm going to go round bracket. And then another round bracket for the units. There we go. Now, the only thing I'm missing is um, a picture, and plus the state is a little bit big. So I'm going to highlight my data. There we go. I'm going to change the font to something smaller, maybe, um, maybe eight size. There we go. There we go. All right, and just make that a little smaller as well. There we go. Move that out of the way. Okay, so now what I want to do is uh, maybe just add up a graphic or make the uh, document look a little nicer. So it's going to Google um, Barry Ontario. There we go. 
Uh, look for images, and I'll try to find a nice image of Barry that'll fit nicely, like uh, this one does. I'm just going to right-click, copy image, go to my document, just click on the first one right there, paste. Okay, and then I can make it a little bigger if I want. There we go. And I got a nice picture of Barry to go with it. Last thing I need to do is answer the two questions uh, from the uh, from the assignment. So if I just uh, quickly go to the assignment here, there we go. Just go to our course, which is down here. Go to the assignment. There's a couple questions you got to answer, so I'm just gonna click uh, on that. And I'm going to copy and paste the questions over. There we go. That way all I'll have to do is just uh, type over what I've written. And so I'm just going to go um, edit, uh, paste without formatting. There you go. And then you just answer the questions. And there you go. Uh, so once you're done, uh, what you want to do is um, provide me a copy of this in the assignment. So uh, what you can do there is go... Um, Let's see, um, okay, let's see, Sh click on share and get the link. So if you go copy link like this, then uh, when you submit the assignment um, in the Dropbox, you can paste the link in for me and I'll get it that way. The other thing you can do as well, if I just hit done here, is you can go uh, file. Uh, download to your device as a Microsoft Word document or a PDF. It doesn't really matter. You can pick one. So I'll pick PDF. There we go. And then in the Dropbox, you can upload the PDF version to the Dropbox. So you just have to do this with two different cities. All right, so I hope this helps. And if you're stuck, please contact me for, uh, for help. Thank you.